Hey guys, Casey here. Alright, here's our next video. As you can tell, this is a new series I'm doing. There will be two parts videos. First part's an impression video, and the second will be a review slash overview of the game. The main criteria for this is um, I can't spend more than $25. If you have any suggestions on what games I should be looking into getting for this series, leave a comment down below. Um, this series is called Casey's Budget Game of the Month, and this month it is Bioshock Infinity. Um, I really wish I could uh, make this a weekly series, but I can't afford it. But hope you all enjoy this series. Um, so far, my impressions of this game is uh, it is fun, uh, beautiful graphics, enjoyable gameplay. Um, I really like the story. Um, if you have any ideas on what my rating system should be, let me know. Sorry guys, no horse puns please. Um, one of the main reasons why I picked this game up um, was one of my friends who has helped me out a lot with the channel art. Um, Spelling error uh, recommended me this game after its release and its high score on what was it, Mega Critic or Joystick or something like that. I can't remember what side he showed me but he showed me its score and it was really high. So, so, thank you, Spelling Air. Now, I found this game at GameStop for seventeen dollars. Um, it was on sale, but it wasn't when I bought it. It was no longer on sale, but the tag was still on it, so I was able to get it for seven to seventeen dollars. So. Me finding this game for uh, $17. One of the uh, main reasons why I started uh, this, why well, I'm starting this series, um, I know Neil and I talked about it before, um, before I found it, but this kind of was the uh, whole, mm, the game that kind of ignited my uh, idea again. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I'm gonna going to enjoy this series. I I love going to pawn shops and uh, looking at their games and and finding steals on games I've been wanting to try but just can't afford it. Um, I can like afford maybe two titles a year at uh, the sixty-five dollar price tag, uh, and that's taking like ten dollars out of a check to uh... Um, to, uh, to save up for that too so that's just uh, it is what it is um, but i just want to show you guys that there are my goal for this series is to show everyone that there are uh... great games out there and you should always try to exploit the uh the used game market if you can it's not really exploitation it's just a great thing in my opinion so um, I will tell you guys where I got the game um, I I generally like to stay away from Craigslist so um, I'm, I'll stay away from Craigslist and eBay the reason why um, I I say stay away from. I'll stay away from eBay for this series. Is that the prices fluctuate on games? So you know, that's just one of those things. Um, eBay is kind of undercut the next guy sometimes. But if I find a steal on a game, then I'll uh, I'll might I might use eBay. But uh, mostly it'll be uh, GameStop, pawn shops, and um. Amazon. Amazon is, is a a great little uh, place to find find good prices. Um, 
So, as you guys can tell from the uh, gameplay footage, I'm kind of bad at this game right now. So, I hope you uh, enjoy my struggles as much as Cuff <laughs> Neil does. Man, that man loves to see me struggle at games. Don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, guys, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, you can follow me and Neil on Twitter. Updates. Alright, guys. Thank you. Have a great day and stay awesome.